before you get started. And once, once you get your water ready, you want to use a cup of water, a cup of the chemical water with a tablespoon of dye. If you're doing black, you want to use two tablespoons of dye because black is a harder color to get saturation. And if you're going to prepare, if you think you're going to do lots of dyeing, you can mix up your chemical water and leave it in the refrigerator so you have it for later on so you don't have to do this every single time. Okay. I think that's fine. Now, each one of you grab a... Which color are you going to do? You can do more than one. I have lots of little cups. So we have red, yellow, and blue. So are you going to just share? Okay. So then you're going to take a cup of water in your necessary evil. Now I want to get over on the plastic for this. So three, ta three teaspoons make a tablespoon. And the reason I'm doing that is because this doesn't fit into the lid. So you're going to get three of these. And you try not to shake it up because, like I said, they float. So it's three tablespoons for every cup three, of water? Three teaspoons. I'm sorry, three teaspoons for every cup of water? For every cup of water or one tablespoon. One tablespoon. Now, you can mix that up. Now, once you when you put your pat once you put your powder in your water, you have to keep stirring it so there's no particles floating around, because if you have particles floating around, you'll get dots. You won't get an even um, you won't get an even layer of color. You'll have dots throughout your fabric. Purple. That's why you'll get purple. That's why we have the extra containers you can mix them together. Plus, I have some um, dyes that have already been mixed up, and you certainly can borrow them. So this is just the basic of preparing your dye. Okay. Somebody get me some paper towels, please, from outside. If you spill powder like this here, you want to wipe it up. Just let me show you how strong it is. See how strong it is? With that. Okay, and then the turquoise. Yellow. 